Hey everyone. Every now and then I like to play in person with my family. They come over and we play various settings and things like Alfheim, Warp Shell, Bearcats, whatever. We do small arcs and fit it in when we can. But as I've played through several of these, I've noticed that each one of my family members, each one of my players, picks generally the same type of character. My wife likes to play rogues, my brother-in-laws like to play these big bulky warriors, my sister-in-laws like to play wildlings, halflings, and rangers. And so as I'm prepping for an upcoming game, I thought it would be really fun to design out custom character types for them so that they can play the things that I've seen them enjoying. And I wanted to share with you one that I just finished, which is the ranger. Now, you can actually get pretty close with what's available in Master Edition and Core using the uh, Archer and Scout class in Alfheim settings, as well as the Hunter class in Master Edition. Um, right there. But, again, I wanted something that was a little bit more in tune with what my player likes to do, and so here is the custom class, our specialist in the wild uh, places of the world. And so I just want to go through each one of these and kind of explain how they work um, just with a quick demo. So for starting abilities, what we have is focus fire for the first one, and that's attacking the same target multiple times in a row is easy. So we have our ranger attacking this Agnar multiple times round after round. After the first attack, they're all going to be easy. Next is the ranger sense, which is use a turn to listen and gain insight on an upcoming timer. So the GM rolls a timer. Um, they can spend their turn without a check to get insight on what's coming from that timer. And then for the last ability, we have sidestep. So when an attacker you can see hits you, you may dodge out of the way and move up to near once per session. So our Agnar leaps at our ranger, and as an ability, they sidestep, which is without a roll, they step out of the way and move up to near to say take cover without taking any damage once per session. Now let's look at the starting loot. The first option is Quick Boots, which with these you can move, perform an action, and then move again. So we have our Ranger who moves in to close range, attacks with their action, and then moves back out into cover as their second move. Next we have Nightwood Bow, which is a pretty tough bow as it deals gun effort and destroys one point of enemy defense when shot at close range. And so as you get in and fire off with this kind of shotgun-like bow, uh, you can destroy one piece of defense from your enemy. And that would be, I would play it out as minus one from the target for attacking the Agnar until it gets kind of minus three. And at that point, all attacks are easy against the Agnar, no matter who's using it. Then the last option is the survival kit, which is when you're, the ranger is always well-rested and prepared, and they get to recover using wisdom. So after taking some damage, our ranger moves to the, uh, into cover, and instead of rolling a con check, they roll their wisdom and then recover their wisdom bonus plus one in health. And then we can finish off with the milestone abilities, starting with even stronger, which is a common one for all character types, and that you get to add one to any stat or gain a unique type of arrows, specifically six of that type. And that, you'd need to work with the GM to decide whether they're ice arrows, explosive, fire, grappling hooks, or whatever. But you can take this multiple times. Then you have Expert Aim, your ranged attack score critical hits with an 18, 19, or 20. And so as our ranger is standing up on the, the stairs looking down at the Agnar, they fire off a shot hoping to get an 18, 19, or 20 naturally um, to get that critical hit instead of just a nat 20. Then you've got blend in. So what happens here is that you can spend a round blending in on your next turn, reappear anywhere within far, and they cannot be targeted. So our Agnar is getting pretty mad with our Ranger and they start prowling and uh, encroaching on their space. The Ranger blends into the background, disappears for an entire round, and then reappears somewhere else, probably behind the Agnar to take advantage of his uh, distraction. And then we've got Deflect as another option. And so what that is, is that any attack you can see, you can negate with a hard dex check. And so as our Agnar turns his attention on your Dwarven friend, the Ranger here um, rolls a hard dex check to negate, distract, or prevent the uh, attack from succeeding. 
It's kind of like shooting an arrow in his eye and having him pull away right at the last second. Then we've got Herbal Remedy, which is more of a support ability with nearby plants and herbs. Heal an ally for basic with a whiz check. So while the Agnar is distracted, we have our ranger come up to our dwarven friend. They make a whiz check and then heal our friend here with basic effort um, using the plants and herbs that they've found uh, nearby. Then we've got our second to last milestone ability is Bushwhack. Your movement is never impeded by difficult terrain. So say all of a sudden this whole field is covered with vines and sticky thorns. Um, everyone else is slowed to a crawl as they can only move cl uh, close each round. Not our ranger. They can move normally without being impeded. And then finally, probably the more most complicated milestone ability is the Defender's Cloak. So at any point, the ranger can remain stationary and gain a plus five to their defense bonus until they move or take an action. So they wrap themselves in their cloak. They do have the ability to share that space with uh, an ally. So they wrap each other up together and kind of shield uh, their friend from their attack and they get that plus five defense. But what happens is as that Agnar kind of crashes down on that cloak, if a successful hit happens, then both the ranger and the one they're defending takes damage. And that's essentially it for the ranger class. Um, there's obviously the mastery, which are just upgraded versions of the starting ability. And so you can grab this on thekingskiln.com um, for yourself and try them out. I would love to hear what you think would be great ranger abilities. How would you build a ranger character type in using ICRPG? And I look forward to updating them as I get more feedback from my players, from how things are working in the system, what's broken, what's not, what's overcomplicated, what doesn't fit with the theme. And I look forward to even more of these.